Happy Monday, oil traders. It is July 24th at 8.52 a.m. Eastern, so we're just over a half hour from East Coast North American markets open, and today should be quite interesting. Um, we saw a, uh, a significant uh, retreat, so if I zoom out here to the one week, we can see that the following news on Wednesday last week, and then supposedly a uh, you know, in anticipation of what's going to happen with OPEC, we saw a pretty rapid decline um, back below 46. Um, as of this moment, we're back above 46, um, but we did drop to the mid 45s. Um, and you know, today is the day that OPEC is meeting, and we should hear from them today. Um, so the expectation is that they're just going to hold to the previous agreed output. Um, that being said, in May, they uh, they extended that agreement, and that extension had pretty much little to no impact on uh, on on crude. Basically, people have lost faith in OPEC's ability to do anything, um, or they just don't trust them. Uh, however, you want to put it. Uh, so you know, make that a, a, you know, what you will. Uh, but that's what's happening today. Um, you know, my philosophy is just play the action and you know be aware of news so that you know when something big might happen, um, such as today. But you know, it, there's no real point in trying to guess as to what will happen. Just stick to your own strategy, which brings me to what my strategy is. As you guys know, I sold uh, two positions last week for profit, uh, two short positions. And the last one on Friday was a 4640-ish um, short that I sold at 4565. It was a small profit, just shy of 3% or 2.5%. Um, and as of right now, we're kind of climbing back up to where I had previously purchased that short. So anything above 4620 really looks pretty attractive to me to repurchase. Um, that being said, I'm not ruling out the the, op, the possibility that we're going back to 47, but at 46.20 plus, it's it's good enough for me as a positional or longer term hold. Um, what I mean by that is I'm not necessarily expecting it to turn right around and start dropping again, but over the next week, couple weeks, month, what have you, I anticipate being able to sell that short position for uh, profit. Uh, if we had dropped, which is what I was hoping that um, I'd get an opportunity to buy long. So if we had dropped to 45, I would have purchased the long. Um, so we closed last Friday at, in the mid 45s. And I sold the short at 45.65. And I was already quite interested in buying long at that point. So if we do drop today, I will be adding to my long positions. Um, anywhere below 40, um, the mid 45s is already pretty attractive to me. Um, of course, 45 would be even better. Well, anything lower is better, I guess, for a long position. But at 45, I'm, I'm quite interested. Um, of course, I've got uh, other short positions to sell if we do drop. And assuming that I do get an opportunity to repurchase my short today at at or above 4620, I'll be looking to sell that short as well as my 4530 short um, as we drop below 45. So that's my plan. As you can see, it has very little to do with anything OPEC might say. And it's just me sticking to my rules and my philosophy or strategy or however you want to phrase it. Um, but that's the game plan. I'd love to hear what you guys have planned. Hit me up down below on the comments in YouTube or you can check me out on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, performance, charts, etc. Uh, in the meantime, good luck, and I'll touch base with you guys towards the end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern. Cheers.